a month, once every couple of months, some type of animal rescue situation arises. Sometimes we're equipped to handle the, uh, the issue that arises, and sometimes we're not. Now, Murrieta firefighters are better equipped to save the lives of animals in the event of a major disaster. The plan is to have every one of these pieces of equipment, the oxygen mask with a small, medium, and large um, size, available on each piece of equipment, both our front line, like you see here, this is the one that would go out on a call, 911 call first, and our backup rigs as well, so that at any time, whether this rig is in service or out of service, we have the ability to use these masks on emergencies. And, and like Chief said, there are infrequent emergencies that we have. California veterinary specialists, a local veterinary hospital, donated 33 oxygen masks, which can be used on dogs, cats, ferrets, birds, and many more animals. Animals are, respond to fires like children respond to fires. They're going to um, hide because they're afraid. If they can't, um, they, you know, they want to get in a place where they feel safe, so you're going to find them under the bed, in the closet, you know, hiding in whatever their favorite place is. And so they're very, um, very susceptible to smoke inhalation, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, inhaling all of those toxic fumes from plastics that are melting, and uh, things like that. So with them, when you find them, oxygen is absolutely the main first thing, you know, that they need. In the past, firefighters would use a mask designed for a human. However, they are not as effective because they don't fit the animals properly. General concept is any animal that we find with distress that would have the same inhalation injuries that a human being might uh, would need supplemental oxygen. So one of the things we can do is provide that oxygen through this mask. The masks were purchased from Pets America, a nonprofit organization that provides equipment and education for those trying to help pets in disasters. Whenever there's a disaster or a house fire or any kind of an emergency, they have a tendency to not want to leave the scene of the emergency if their pets are inside or if they feel there is any uh, threat to their lives as well. And so by enabling disaster preparedness education, uh, basic pet first aid and CPR, and helping distribute these pet oxygen masks into uh, national scope and actually international as well. When people feel this sense of uh, safety that you know the, the firemen can come in and actually save their pets, there is a higher tendency for people not to go back into the home themselves. In the future, Murrieta firefighters can feel more confident knowing they are better prepared to help save the lives of our four-legged friends. For reporter Sarah Burge, I'm Jackie West for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.